Oh, well, I don't know location or how many of them, but... No, but you know that there is a fiend miles. about 140 feet from you. Right yeah! now. <laughs> Just keep running. As you're running, yeah. You can hear, you know, snorting and heavy stomping and metal scraping on stone <laughs> as something is chasing you or looking for you in this maze. Uh, it seems to know its way around better than you do. Um, I stopped screaming. Uh, I do need to do this. It takes a lot, lot out of me. Pains. Yes. And Would this count as... So it's good on both of your Eldritch Blast hits. Would this count as forest or grassland? Uh, nope. Just Neither. Wondering. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay. Kazmin is oh. going to send a whole bunch of blasts at this thing as well. Can we um, stop the game now? <laughs> he's also going to uh, hex, and he's hey, choosing to hex to his... Uh, he's going to hex his wisdom. Uh, Day, you can roll these. So I want you to make four Eldritch Blast shots. Oh, come on. At plus uh, 13. So 19 plus 13. Hits. 32. Yeah. All right. Um, five plus 13, 18. Still hits. 13 plus uh, 26. Hits. And 18 plus th so 31. So they all hit. You see him taking this big runic stone side that he has, and he's just like whipping these beams of energy out of the head of the scythe into the form of the Crimson Herald as they're impacting and slamming into him. You can roll damage as well. It's going to be 4d10 plus uh, hex. So 4d10, 4d6 plus 24. That's 69 damage. 69! Nice. Make him make a co um, concentration check. Yep, he's going to. That's what he's going for. I wish seven and Emmett were there. Yeah, same. Um, that's that. four individual checks. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember all the. Do you have the, do you have the breakdown of how much damage each one was? By chance? Um, it was. It was. Let's see. The first Nine one, I'm fine. Plus, so sixteen on no fifteen on the first one. Okay, so fine on the first one. Um. Oh no, no, but that's but then it's plus the. So how much? How much per? I just I, need I the total damage per each beam, but because it, it's they're four individual checks. You could, but it's beam plus. It's plus a D ten plus a D six plus six, six per beam. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, the first one was twenty one. Roughly seventeen. He's still fine. On average. For all four. Let's just um, go with an average, and I'm fine with that. It'll be it might be over or under on some. We'll just go with an average. Yeah, seventeen. The second one on was eight plus six, fourteen. A fourteen. Okay, he makes it with a sixteen. Woo! The third one was natural twenty, so he's fine. Okay. He'd have the to take like way more damage for that, and then the final one. The fourth uh, ooh, one. Oh, this one might be. This is the worst of the saves. Seventeen. Oh. 17 damage? Yeah. Okay, so the DC would be half of that rounded down. So, or, or yeah, yeah, 10, essentially. It's 10 or half of the damage taken, whichever one is greater. So it's just, the, uh, I only got a nine. Huh. So uh, as you're running around panicking, near in, in this, uh, all of a sudden you kind of run and you bump into Kazmin. And oh. you're back on the platform. And you turn and see him dealing with this thing. Um, that was Kazmin's turn. It is huh, it is his turn. Uh, it's Rasim's turn. Uh, but concentration broken. You're out. Um, he's going to... How? He's going to cast... Um, yeah. He he kind of chuckles and points past as you are running day. As you're looking at Kazmin, assault this, and you see Niren reappear... He cries out. He points past them all at you, Day. You will fall. Mm -mm. And you can see him reaching at you uh, almost unnaturally. And uh, Kazmin's going to counterspell. Oh! He said, Bah! Don't touch my little boy! 
uh, and you can hear Kazmin. Kazmin almost like runs forward, like putting himself in the way. Um, and you can hear him just shout in Sylvan. You can all understand this. Um, and he just yells, uh, don't touch him. And cast Counterspell at ninth level. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, what level what up? Ninth level. Just to make sure it works, because he's not pulling any punches. Just in case. Um, he then Abra screams. Kadabra. And he screams, uh, you know, to run. Um, and you all see Kazmin uh, also, like, drop the scythe. And you see him kind of, like, raise up with his hands out to his side as he, like, begins to almost levitate and float a bit. As you see the swirling pink and green, like a glitter cloud, come from beneath him and wrap around his form as he then unleashes and you see mm -mm. Mm -mm. what what, oh, what the oh, fuck is that what, what is this <laughs> what is happening is has me a fade dragon what? has what? he just been a fade dragon the whole what? time what <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> oh my gosh! Watch shots are insane! <laughs> uh, as he just starts kind of tearing into this thing and magic and eruption and stuff is flying and happening. There is like sparks and explosions of energy. He is like picking him up and throwing him into the stone columns as it collapses. He's firing this like intense almost black laser beam into him and it, like all of a sudden there it's like weird you're seeing like you're seeing this happen very quickly and then like slow down in these weird slow-mo moments as there's like this temporal shift in this area this massive stone platform cracks and splits near and you go tumbling down it and have to like back up you run up today as you're like collected together and pulling back but you can't help but focus and watch and see this battle happen um can I and, touch? Uh, can I pull Hal back and cure wounds him? Uh, you can run up to Hal um, and and grab onto him. You release in. You're quick. You run up. Mm -hmm. You drop a cure wounds into him and realize it has no effect because he's a plant and it reduced him to zero. He's gone. Oh. Oh. He did. As many as I can, I just want to start releasing arrows towards the you fray. Fire, yeah, you fire a few beams, and in the middle of all this happening, 